Easily add animation to your V-Roid characters using any video with AI motion capture. In this tutorial, we'll be walking through the process of creating a V-Roid character, then creating a Deep Motions Animate 3D animation with your V-Roid custom character, and then importing it into Blender. The animations we will be importing are generated from the Deep Motion Animate 3D web service. Animate 3D is an AI-powered motion capture solution that captures full body human motion. You can create 3D animations from any video that you find online or capture from a personal camera. You can sign up and try it free with free monthly recurring animation time. Moving on to our V-Roid walkthrough. For step one, you're going to want to create your V-Roid character in V-Roid Studio, a free character creation software. The link to the free download is in the description. Once you create your V-Roid character, you are going to want to export your character. Click on Export. Here, you'll see that the pose will change to a T pose, which is exactly what we need for Animate 3D. Now, go over to the Export info on the right and click the Export button. You will see a VRM setting window pop up with export options. Go ahead and name your character however you wish, and you can click OK. From here, choose the location where you want to export the character file to. Next, go ahead and navigate to Deep Motions Animate 3D. You can sign up for a free account with free monthly animation time. Once logged in, you will see your personal dashboard. Navigate to the 3D model section, which is where your custom characters can be accessed. Next, click on the Upload tab, then navigate to your VROID VRM character that you just saved and upload it. Once uploaded, you should see a thumbnail of your character. From here, you can go ahead and click Create Animation. Next, upload the video you want to turn into an animation. Please be sure to review the capture guidelines below. If you don't follow these instructions, your animations may not turn out as well as it could. The quality of your animation is highly dependent on the quality of the video you upload. Also note that if you're using a freemium account, you can upload a max video length of 10 seconds at a time. Once your video has uploaded, we can now set our animation settings. The FBX option is on by default. You can go ahead and leave this setting. Some of the other settings you might want to consider is the physics filter setting, which will help prevent your character's mesh from intersecting. Other options that you can explore with a subscription include foot locking settings for better foot contact depending on the motion, animation smoothing, which will help remove jitters, and speed multiplier, which will allow you to capture slow-mo videos. Face tracking is not available to use with V-Roid characters at this time, however, it is a free option to use with other characters. Under Video Output, you can also turn on an MP4 output, where you can change the background, camera angle, and more. Once you're ready, go ahead and create your animation. Here, you can double check all your settings, then you can click Start Job to begin processing the animation. The animation generation should only take a few minutes with default options selected. After it's finished, you can take a look at how your animation turned out in the previewer. With a subscription, you can rerun your animations with different settings to refine your animation output. Once you're ready, you can download your animation. We'll be using the GLB file, select it, and then click download. If you turn the MP4 file on, you can also download it here, which can be used for quick, easy sharing. To edit this animation further, you're going to want to bring it into a digital content creation software like Blender. I'm going to use the general scene. Once open, I'll just turn off the default cube to have a clear scene. From here, we will want to import our character with animation. So go to File, then Import, then select GLB. Navigate to the GLB file you just downloaded from Animate 3D. Your character should load in immediately. For a better view of the character, I'm going to turn on viewport shading so you can see the textures. 
and also turn off the armature so just the character's mesh is being shown. Now you can press play and see your character's animation. If you need further support editing your animation, there are many free Blender resources out there that you can check out. We'll provide a Blender tutorial located in the description for the creator editing and animate 3D animation in Blender. We hope this is helpful and would love to see any projects you are working on.